Your girl's been shopping. Let's get into it. <laughs> hey, Star Family. Welcome to my new channel and to my first haul. This is my first haul. My first fall haul, to be exact. Wow, on my new channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Girl, I had to put my hair up, okay? I was trying to give y'all something cute with the side and the hair out, giving very full force with a side of gem, but it was way too hot. It is way too hot. So anyway, that leads me into, this is gonna be a Cali kind of fall haul because I live in the Sunshine State. That did not sound right. Is Cali the Sunshine? Is that Florida? Florida is the oranges, right? The Georgia, no, that's the Georgia peach. What is Florida? What is Florida? Sunshine State. I feel like that's wrong. Anyway, I live in California, specifically Southern California, specifically the Los Angeles area. So we don't really have a fall. I, not even really. We don't have a fall. We have a summer, a hot summer, and a cool summer. That is all we have. So because of that, we don't really get a lot of the great fall stuff. And it kills me because I'm from the East Coast, the city of Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, where independence first started in this nation. You are welcome. So I, you know, really love the fall because I'm from the East Coast and I just have grown to really love that season. I'm also a December baby. So from September to December, baby, I come alive. I wake it up. It's my season. So I just really love and enjoy that time and living out here in California has been really difficult because like I said, I'm in Southern California. Now, Northern California gets a really crisp, cool, fall they get the leaves that are changing they get that sweet cool air i don't get that here and i'm jealous i miss it but that does not mean that i'm not still festive nikki that does not mean that i don't get into the fall decor and i try to make my home as fall and cozy as i can make it in southern california we did not get a lot of fall stuff this season uh, in my area. Like we don't really get a lot of fall stuff to be quite honest with you in Southern California, but we get a good amount that I'm comfortable with. This season has been very, very different. I think it's because of the pandemic because a lot of stuff is just held up. There's not enough people to work certain jobs to get stuff out. So because of that, my local Marshalls and Home Goods are still selling stuff that they were selling in the spring. They can't move stuff fast enough. So there really isn't a lot of fall stuff. I really have to travel outside of my area up into Northern Cali to really get some nice things. But unfortunately, I'm not driving seven hours to Napa. So I'm gonna make do with what I have here. We are starting here with the Dash Mini Waffle Makers. I love these guys. They are so festive. They are so cute. Like you cannot not have an adorable breakfast with these things lying around. I um, actually bought this one last year for about $9.99. I got it at Kohl's because it was sold out in my area. Actually, no, I'm lying. I got this the year before last and I had to pick it up from Kohl's because there was nowhere in my area. I think I had to drive up to like Anaheim. That's a trip for me. And I had to go pick it up from that Kohl's because it was sold out. As soon as it hit my local Marshalls, my local Home Goods, Target, where else did they sell it? Crate and Barrel. Out of stock. Out of stock. And I didn't want to wait until like the Christmas season to get this because I wanted it for the fall. So I just, you know, trekked up to the Anaheim Kohl's and I picked it up there. But... I was able to find this just last week at my local Marshalls. This is the um, Dash Mini Maple Leaf Waffle Maker. Guys, also, they have this. They have the Pumpkin Waffle Maker for $7.99 as well. I paid like $2 more and I had to trek up to um, Anaheim. So it cost me probably about 20 bucks for this one thing. You can get it at your local Marshalls for $7.99. I would say get them both. Why not? Why not? This is the time to be festive. Go ahead and do it. Let me show you what they look like. So this is the pumpkin waffle maker. Of course, orange, very cute and adorable. Here is the, this is the back 
of the waffle. This will be the front and that is the pumpkin. Let me <laughs> hope you can get it up close. Hope you can see it guys. I, my family and I are not big waffle people, but when I make these, you gotta eat them. How can you not? They're so adorable and festive. Do it. Now the maple waffle maker, I haven't opened yet. So this is a fresh unboxing for you. I hope you guys are enjoying my unboxings. I hope they bring you as much joy as they bring me. I love an unboxing. I think the pandemic made me like that. Cause I mean, you couldn't go anywhere. So the only joy that I could actually get was opening a package. <laughs> Here is, oh, but this one is orange as well. Adorbs. Oh God, this is gonna be confusing. <laughs> like literally the same orange. Literally the same orange color. Wow. Wow. Orange. Cute. Cute. But instead of being a pumpkin, it's a maple leaf. So let's compare the two. This is the pumpkin dash mini waffle maker and this is the maple. It's slightly, the maple is slightly darker, but I don't know. I mean, I don't expect it to be red because I also have the dash mini heart waffle maker and that is red, you know, Valentine's day. I get that. What would I, what would this be? You wouldn't want a brown waffle maker, would you? I guess, I guess this is okay. I kind of would have wanted it a little different. Maple leaves are not just Canadian, right? Look at me, but I, I'm not gonna embarrass myself no more. But yeah, this is it. Cute, adorable, highly recommended, $7.99 at your local Marshalls. It might be at Home Goods too, but I didn't see it at Home Goods. I definitely saw this at Marshalls and they had a lot, a lot of the pumpkin and just maybe like two or three of the maple leaf. But they have a lot of pumpkin uh, mini waffle makers. And they had a plethora of these at Target when I went last time and they had a plethora, look at me, big words. They had a plethora at my uh, at Marshall's. This, not so much. This is very rare. You might be able to find it on the Dash website, but they're $20 and you have to pay for shipping and handling. I will say search around because you can get these for a really good price. I highly recommend that you register all of your Dash products. If you're a Dash girl like me, you have registered just about everything because you just want to be covered with these products. Like I said before, they're not, I won't necessarily say flimsy, but they're delicate. So you want to make sure you're covered just in case something happens. So please register your product, handle with care. Do not submerge in water. I learned the hard way. You're welcome. Let's move on. Ooh, she a little dusty. I just had her in the bag. What happened? You gotta clean this up. But guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, right? Because this is not my current theme. This is not my current theme. But if you, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that um, I am getting a second home on the east. And so I think that this is what I'm going to use next fall. So look at me shopping ahead. Shopping ahead. I think I'm gonna use this next fall because I think by then I'll be settled into my new place. And I wanna have a McKinsey Child's Fall hot like slash Halloween. So that's why I got this. I was actually checking out and you know, you know Marshalls, they get you every time with that freaking, like when you're in line and it's just all these fandangles and things that you don't need, but you start looking because the line is mad long because they got two cashiers up there, not because they're understaffed, but because they want you to stay in that line and buy something that you don't need. And baby, it works every time. I don't need this, but it's stars. I couldn't leave without it. So I'm not going to use it this holiday season. I may, I may use this on Halloween. I don't know. I may decorate with this on Halloween. I'm not a big Halloween uh, woman. <laughs> That's what I say, girl, but I'm a woman. I'm not a big Halloween woman, as you all know, if you've been following me for a long time. I am um, a church kid, so I had Hallelujah Nights. I celebrated Halloween like once, and then my mom got radically saved, and it was Hallelujah Nights from here on, from there on out. So wasn't, you know, a big Halloween girl. I did get to watch Hocus Pocus. 
because she liked Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, Kathy to Jimmy. <laughs> she wasn't okay with the witches, but she liked those two actors. So <laughs> I didn't really get to celebrate much. So I don't really decorate that much for Halloween, more fall, and then I go right into Christmas. But Mackenzie Childs has this beautiful checkered dinnerware collection. It's also bakeware and furniture. One of the boutiques in my area has like a special section dedicated to Mackenzie Childs. So I'm always walking in there seeing like what's new in stock and she is constantly adding to the Mackenzie Childs uh, checkered collection. So that's what I think I wanna use this for next fall. I will find a way to decorate with this for Halloween. I don't know how, <laughs> I just, I just cause this is not my colors. This is not my colors. My colors are orange and burgundy with a dash of like green, not much. So this really wouldn't fit with my fall decor this season, but I could not leave Marshalls without it. I will tell you this, I did walk out of the store and I went home. And then the next day I came back and got it. I was so glad that it was still here. I really think this is gonna kill next fall with my Mackenzie Childs collection. I can't wait, I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right, but this is a pumpkin, a black and white pumpkin decorated with stars. This was $9.99, $9.99 at Marshall's. If there were multiple pumpkins that looked exactly like this, I would have waited because one thing, if you're a Marshall's girl like myself, a Marshall's hoe, a Marshall's woman, a Marshall's connoisseur, you know that, you know, the first week of November, this stuff is gonna be like dirt cheap, but this was the only one. And I just, I looked at it and I saw my Mackenzie Child's vision and I could not leave the store without it. I'm gonna find a way to use it this uh, fall season, but next fall season, baby, you better be ready. You, my kitchen, sickening. I can't wait, I love it. And y'all know I love stars because uh, I'm Nikki Star. <laughs> the next thing that I got is the uh, DW Home Country Harvest Pumpkin Patch hand poured first of all outside of the decor right smells divine smells divine it's a three wick candle it doesn't give me it doesn't it's not pumpkin it doesn't smell like pumpkin it smells like pumpkin spice baked in like a apple spice cupcake when you smell this you get hungry that's how sweet and delicious it is and I love a sweet candle. I really love for my kitchen, although I'm a baby baker, I'm a baby baker, okay? I love for my kitchen to smell like a bakery and this just does the trick. It smells so good. Like you smell it and it's giving, it's giving bakery in the fall and like Napa. I'm gonna talk about Napa a lot. I did a weekend trip to Napa, uh, but last week and it was one of the best experiences of my life. Like I left there thinking, I may buy a home out here. That's like how impressed I was with wine country. And I'm not even a wino. But anyway, this is the lid. How cute. How cute, right? It's a pumpkin patch. Cause it's um, pumpkin patch. That's the name of it, pumpkin patch. Country harvest, pumpkin patch. And this is the lid. Adorbs absolutely adorbs. I just, I could not, I could not leave the store without it. it. Smells so good. This is actually $12.99. You can't get a better price for a DW Home candle because if you buy them from their site, you know that these candles are like twice the amount that they are at Marshalls and Home Goods. So if you are a DW fan, I highly recommend that, you know, if you want to save a little coin, but if you want to support the artists, you know, buy off of their site. But if you want to save a little coin, buy this at Marshalls or Home Goods. Oh, it's so good and it's so cute. So cute. It smells so good, guys. I can't stop smelling it. Mmm, divine. Now I'm hungry. Of course, I have another candle. Y'all know I'm a candle hoe. Let's get into it. This candle is a sensational Welcome Home Natural Soy Blend Candle. This 
does not give me pumpkin. This gives me faint pumpkin, right? But it also gives me a mixture of seasons, which is why I like this candle. If you can't tell by now, I've already used a bit of it. This is the scent that I'm gonna have in my bathroom from this season all the way through the uh, Christmas season. And that is why I chose this candle because it does give pumpkin, but it's faint, right? It gives the fall, Thanksgiving, and Christmas wrapped up into one. It's a huge, heavy candle that will definitely get some traction, but it will also be able to travel through the seasons and still smell like whatever season we're in. You know what I mean? Like, I'll definitely, you know, be done this by January, but from September through December, this is a scent that will transform and travel throughout the seasons because it smells like all of them. It smells like fall. It smells like Thanksgiving. It smells like Christmas. That's why I had to get it. And I want to put it in my bathroom because, uh, can't stop smelling it, because I'm not going to have it in a place like my room or my living room where I burn candles in my kitchen where I burn where I burn candles often. I just want to leave this in there and you know light it whenever I'm taking a bath or something like that or you know a douce <laughs> or just have it in my restroom with the lid off and let it just naturally scent the uh, restroom without having to light the candle. I will say it is a little low but it came like that. I didn't burn it down to like nothing. I burnt it down just a bit, but it was not full to the brim. And that's okay, because I'm not gonna be burning this often. So I'm probably gonna have it for a very long time. And this is also a really nice jar and lid. So this is something that I'm going to keep because as you know, I also tend to make my own candles, especially around the holiday season. So this is going to uh, be a great investment for me because this is a very good jar. It's a very great scent. I'll use it for a long time and I'll still have this jar and cute lid to use when I'm done with the uh, candle wax that's in here. So yeah, this was actually on clearance. I got this for I believe six dollars when I went into my Marshalls they had like these racks out in the center I don't know if this is every Marshalls but I know for my local Marshalls because they are not moving product fast enough they're now putting up like these three blue racks in the middle like as soon as you walk in you see these racks and it's just stuff that they need to get rid of and everything is deeply discounted this would have been fifteen dollars that's how much the sensational candles go for so this would have been fifteen dollars but this was six because they just got to get rid of it they got to get rid of it even though it's a seasonal candle they just have so much stuff and they have to move it so that they can have a uh, space for the fall stuff so again this is sensational welcome home candle it definitely smells like home but it gives me home for the holidays and that's why i had to get it my bathroom scent this mug actually caught my eye i picked it up and guess what mug was behind it how how can i leave this in a store how look how adorable i look with it <laughs> it's a pumpkin spice latte yeah it's delicious. <laughs> Low fat. <laughs> I, I can't. I can not with this. It's so adorable. This is by Global Design Connections. I don't think that's a company. I just think they just make stuff and ship it to America. But I love it. It's so cute. Like I drink out of this mug and I see myself in Napa on my balcony overlooking my land because i'm going to have an estate like oprah you just wait and see and i'm overlooking my land and my garden and i gaze out and i see a moose are moose or, or are they called meese a family of moose known as meese and i look oh wait are they even in, are they in california they're in canada eh? right anyway i just imagine myself looking out on my balcony and I just see a family of moose, meese, and I nod 
and he breathes heavy. The dad, Daddy Moose, breathes heavy. <laughs> I've never seen a moose up close, so I don't know. That's probably how they breathe. And he nods his head and he turns in his family of moose. The Meese family walks away and I smile. I drink my pumpkin spice latte, low fat. And then I turn into my bourgeois. And I close my curtains and I live my best fall life. You see what I'm saying? I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave it. It brings me joy. You bring me joy. Anita got her master's back. She got her master's back. We can finally clean. My family hates this. I love it. I love it. I don't hope you can fully see it. <laughs> it has star pockets. Listen, let me tell you how I shop, right? Anywhere that I shop, the first thing that I type into the search bar is star. The second thing that I type is sequins. The third thing is glitter. The fourth thing is rainbows. One, two, get us four fingers. What is the fifth thing? Stars, sequins, glitter, rainbows. Oh, faux fur. Faux fur. That is my personality right there. Stars, sequins, glitter, rainbows, and, fur, and faux fur. That is me to a T, right? So I was shopping on Shein love them and um i just typed in the search bar star and it i was literally looking through pages and pages of stuff and i landed on this it's so warm and cozy i can't wear it right now but i got this last year and the only reason why i'm showing you guys this is because they do have it back in stock but you gotta move fast because these um i don't know what is it teddy bear robes go they sell out quick they sell out quick. Listen, you're going to look like a huge, adorable teddy bear. If that is not for you, don't do it. Don't do it. But if it is for you, please do it. It's so warm and cozy when it gets really cold. And when I move back east, I'm definitely going to get a good use out of this. But when it does get cold here, or, you know, 76 degrees, that's our cold. But when it does, when the temperature does drop, I love just wearing this, being on my balcony, you know, <laughs> burning up, but still cozy. Just a really good, warm and cozy robe. Uh, great material. I've washed this uh, twice now, still intact. It already was short like this. If you don't know, Shein is a China-based company, so they go off of uh, the measurements of the Chinese people who live there. And we Americans tend to be a lot thicker and taller. So this came like this. What I wanted to do was get a little um, fabric from Joanne's fabric and just like take it, take like a yellow fabric, a kind of gold yellow fabric, like my stars and my buttons, bam, and just bring it from here to here because it's just always going to be short, but it's so cute and cozy. I love the star pockets. Do you see it? Do you see it? Looking at the meese. Looking at the meese. Hello, fall. It's warm. It's comfy. It's cute. It's adorable. It has star pockets. You know who I look like? Paddington Bear. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with looking like Paddington Bear. He's been my idol since I was five, so I'm okay. I'm okay. A cozy Paddington Bear. Shein, $29.99. You'll definitely get this on sale. Highly recommended. I love it. I love it. I will warn you, if you put this on, please do not have anything to do. You will take an instant nap. Do not sit down. When you're wearing this, do not sit down. I'm telling you, if you sit down on a comfortable couch, you are going to be knocked out for like six hours. So do this when you don't want to be productive. If you want to be productive, take this thing off. Take it off. I warned you. Do you follow Coupon Crazy Lady? I follow all these couponing um, soccer moms 
And um, I also follow a lot of Bath and Body Works um, YouTubers on um, my YouTube and on Instagram. Been doing it for years because I'm I'm a bit of you know a Bath and Body Works hoe myself, and I can't, I'm a, I'm a lot of hoes. It is what it is. Welcome to the Star Hole family. So I was on. I think it was Coupon Crazy Ladies site. If it was not her site, it was definitely like a Bath and Body Works Twitter thread that I was on and I found this item. I'm telling you, I was on my computer, my soul leaped out of my body and I immediately said, I have to have it and I have to have it now. So I immediately went to the Bath and Body Works website just to see if it was available because the thread that I was on Everybody was saying that it was sold out and it's no longer in stores. So I got really nervous. But what I have learned about Bath & Body Works, that if it's not in the store, if it's been out of stock in your local store for a very long time, do not fret because they normally keep a large stock on the website. I found so many things that I have wanted that were no longer sold in my store on bathandbodyworksonline.com or bathandbodyworks.com. Yeah, bathandbodyworks.com. Create an account. You'll be able to track your rewards and use your rewards. And you also have more access to coupons because they tend to send me more coupons by way of email than they do at my home. So if I was you, I would definitely sign up for a Bath and Body Works account because that is a great way to get rewards and be up to date on what's coming out and also be up close and personal with all of their stocks so you don't got to worry about stressing yourself out at the store if you're worried about shipping and handling do not worry they now ship to your local bath and body work so you do not have to pay shipping and handling anymore that helps a lot because their shipping and handling was like was it like 12 bucks it was like almost as much as a damn candle so i was just like absolutely not but if I had a purchase that was over $50, I would definitely do it. Anyway, I went to the Bath & Body Works website. I put the name of the product that I was looking for and it came up and it came up available. And I did a little trick that I always do. You probably do the same thing. It's not anything new, but it is something that has helped me make the best decisions financially for things that I don't necessarily need, but want. So I put a, like 20 of these in my cart just to see how many were available and I just kept on checking. So the more it depleted, that's when I was like, okay, this is the time to make my um, purchase. I purchased this about last week. It actually came yesterday and it's even more beautiful in person. What am I talking about? Bath and Body Works Pumpkin candle holder or pedestal guys how adorable is this this is the little leaf this is where the candle sits it's like a velour skin but i believe that inside so inside is hollow but it's giving me glass so i feel like if you take this off it'll be just like a white pumpkin but when you put the velour or velvet skin over it it just like elevates it and it makes it something it just makes it something so like show-stopping and just gorgeous. I cannot wait to put my fall candle in here. What I'm going to do is, because I normally don't buy candles at this time, I only buy candles from Bath & Body Works during their candle sale. So the candle sale is in December. I need to use this now. So what I'm going to do is use what I have left over from the last time that I made candles and just put it into one of my empty Bath & Body Works candles and just, you know, create that new scent, add maybe a little bit of dye, a little bit of candle dye, and just put it in there. And that will be my candle until the holiday season. I think that I may just see, because I'm going back to Marsha's tomorrow because I have to return something. That's how they get you. You return, but you always end up buying. So it's always an exchange. You never really return and get your money back because you end up putting the money right back into Marshalls. But I'm going to return something. I think what I'm going to do is take an old Bath & Body Works candle and, you know, just try to measure up and see if they have any candles, any holiday candles at Marshalls that could fit 
in here. If not, I'll just, you know, make my DIY uh, candle using an empty Bath and Body Works. Uh, did I say bottle? Holder. Candle holder. Candle bucket. Candle skin. Candle home. Candle cup. Whatever it is. I think I just may do that because like I said, I don't spend more than $10 for candles. And right now, Bath and Body Works candles, their candles are full price, which is $25. I never spend that. I need to use this now and the candle sale is in December. So if I cannot find uh, a candle at Marshalls or Home Goods that can fit in here, then I'll just DIY a candle. But this is so beautiful, guys. Look at this, look at the size. Look at the size, it's such a great size. I didn't even know the size. I just saw it and said, listen, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Look, it's a great size, absolute showstopper. Absolute showstopper, great centerpiece. This is going to be a definite showstopper, a great centerpiece for, you know, your Thanksgiving table, just something cute to leave in your kitchen or walkway. I just, this is great decor, great investment. Container may get hot during use, extinguish candle and allow to cool before touching or handling. To clean white with a soft, damp cloth. It still doesn't say what the material is, but I'm getting glass. I'm getting that this is like a glass, a hollow out glass pumpkin fixture. So be careful. I wouldn't drop this if I were you. Keep this away from the kids and adults because this will shatter. This will shatter, but it's so cute. It's such a great investment because this is something that you'll be using for every fall season. Like this will never go out of style. How adorable. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will have everywhere you can purchase these items except for Marshalls because a lot of the stuff that I bought from Marshalls is not online. They were in store. As you know, you can purchase from Marshalls online, but I searched the Marshalls uh, website and I did not see the things that I was able to buy in store. Aside from the items that I purchased in Marshalls, everything else that you have seen here in this video, I will have links and I will have several places on where you can purchase these items. If there's a discount, I will also let you know about that as well. If you have any questions or if you want to show me how you styled some of the things that I brought here, please tag me on Instagram in all of your pictures or in your stories. I would love to see, especially if you have this, I would love to see how you decorate it with it. So I really hope you enjoyed my first fall haul. I enjoyed making this for you and I enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope you have a great fall season, beautifully decorated, keeping cool, having a fun, relaxed, cozy time. If you like what you see here, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in another video for something else. Thank you so much for stopping by. Love y'all.